My name is uh, Salvador Moncada. I have been until very recently the director of the Wilson Institute for Biomedical Research here at University College London. We have uh, basically worked uh, in uh, four areas of research over the years. In the early research, we worked on inflammation. When I was a student under the direction of uh, Sir John Vane, uh, we discovered what the mechanism of action of aspirin is. From, 90, from 1899, when aspirin was discovered by Bayer, until 1971, when we found the mechanism of action of aspirin, it was completely unknown. Then I changed and I started to work on uh, vessels, arteries and veins, but mainly arteries, because I was interested in, uh, in vascular disease, in heart attacks and in strokes. And we started to investigate the nature of the inside of the vessel wall, which is the vascular endothelium. And there we discovered two substances, two new substances. One which we call prostacycline, which we discovered in John Bain's laboratory uh, uh, in the middle of the 1970s. And then nitric oxide, which we identified in the middle of the 1980s. And then we worked for many years in that area and those discoveries were very important to understand how the vessel wall is controlled and what is the physiology of the vessel wall. And in the last few years, when I was about to retire, we made a finding which uh, now we are working on, which is related to cell proliferation. How do cells, when they divide, feed themselves? And we want to know if a normal cell and a cancer cell eat differently. I do science in, in a way that not many people do, all right? People are very systematic following fields or following observations which have been made by other people. And that, I said to you, is very important because that accumulates knowledge. I don't like that. I like the adventure of the unknown. I said, has this question ever been asked before? And suddenly you are there, and suddenly you have the fear of whether you are right or not. And at the same time, the exhilaration of being in a completely new situation that nobody has seen before. Discovery is something that comes very, very seldom. And I think it comes very seldom to few people. There is nothing more exciting than discovering something. And because it combines the feeling and the elation of the new with the slight fear of being where nobody else has been before. So the combination of the two feelings is very exhilarating. So you are prepared to work for years just to have that moment, which I think is one of the most special uh, things in life. You cannot discover if you are uh, and on the seaside, you cannot discover new lands as if you continue looking at the, at the shore. <laughs> You're looking backwards, not frontwards. <laughs> yeah. You have to have the courage and the strength and the sense of security that allows you to jump in a little boat and go across the ocean. <laughs>